The next question is how to swap the ball from right to left, offside to near side, when someone comes to ride you off? Woo, we're asking high level questions here. Okay, so um, we're bringing you um, some good videos from Chris McKenzie on how to practice and the dribbling techniques and things. And you will see how he has, he's got his feet where his feet are in a vertical line below his hips and his shoulders are over his knees. If you get forward like that when you're dribbling, if somebody comes to you, you have the option of going from right to left, of dribbling that ball from right to left under your horse's neck, then making a ride off and playing it on the near side. Okay, the minute you sit back and dribble under, you know, where you're sitting in the saddle, number one, um, it's such a bad position for you to be able to dribble because the ball is directly underneath you, where when it's in front of you, you can see how high it is above the ground. So if it bounces, you can still get it. But it also gives you the option of flipping it under your horse's neck. If you're dribbling it further back, it takes out left completely. You can only go right. So that's the number one. But the biggest thing for me is if you are really awake and man focused, when you see a man coming, check up before the ball, take him out and put the ball on your near side. You don't have to move it to your near side. If you will only pay attention to not getting hooked to being man focused and stop trying to be cambiasa running with the ball and a man now gets on your mallet and now you've got to do all these damn fancy things to try and get the ball away from the man. If you will just look, have that 360 vision, look and see him come, take him out, you then have it on the near side naturally anyway without having to move it. That is a fantastic answer, Gav.